Hello friends, this video on applications of trigonometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study application of trigonometry in real life. To study this, we should know line of sight, angle of elevation and angle of depression of an object. Let's take this example. This is a tree and this is a man. The man is looking at the top of the tree. So this line is called angle of sight. That is right, the line of sight. The line joining the eye of the observer to the point which we are looking at. So if you are looking at the top of the tree and this line, the blue line is called line of sight. In case of angle of elevation, the person has to move his head upward to see the object. For example, the normal position of the person is straight, but he is tilting his head up to see the object. So this angle is called angle of elevation. This is called angle of elevation. Why? Because this person has moved his head up in this direction to see the object. So angle of elevation is nothing but the angle between the line of the side and the horizontal line. So here also, please note, horizontal line is there. Because to form an angle, you should you have you should to form an angle, you need two lines. One line is the line of side, the other line is the horizontal line. Similar to this, we have depression angle. Let's again take the scenario. We have this tree. Now this guy is looking down to see the bottom of the tree. This blue line is also line of sight and the angle which this in this case the line of sight makes with the horizontal line is called angle of depression. Please note in case of elevation angle the person lifted his head up and he saw the top of the tree. In case of angle of dispersion he is bending down to see something in the downward direction. And in both case, the second line that is used to form angle is a horizontal line. Let's take a recap. This guy is standing. This is straight. Now he lifts his head up and looks at the top of the tree. In this case, the angle which his eye make with this horizontal line is called angle of elevation because he has left his head up and he is looking at something in the upward direction. Now he lifts, uh, he put his head down and he sees the bottom of the tree. Again, with the horizontal axis or horizontal line, the angle formed using this line of sight and the horizontal line is called angle of depression. Correct? So in case of angle of elevation, this guy sees upward. In case of angle of depression, you have to see downward and the angle is always formed with the horizontal line. We never take vertical line because if we, this is the angle of sight, if you take this angle, this will be a different angle. This is not the angle we are talking about. The second line is always horizontal line. Please note this horizontal line is important. Don't get confused. This horizontal line is always there and the line of sight. We'll take some example. A circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tight from the top of the vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole if the angle made by a rope with the ground is 30 degree. So let's see this. This is the circus artist and this is a pole. The question says is a vertical pole and the circuit artist is there. Is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tight from top of the vertical pole to the ground. That means this is a rope from here to somewhere here, right? So let's draw this rope. This is a rope that is tied from top of this uh, pole to the ground, correct? And the question says that this is 20 meter long. This, this rope is 20 meter long. And what we have to find? We have to find the height of the pole. And let the pole height be x. Now, what we can do? Also, we are told that this angle is 
30 degree. The, the row makes a 30 degree angle with the ground. Now let's draw a triangle on this so that we can use a trigonometry to solve this. Let's draw a triangle. This is uh, the side. We're just drawing a triangle on this. This is uh, the base. I'm joining it, and this is the pole. So now, if you see, this is a triangle, and I can name this triangle ABC. This is a triangle ABC with this is the 90 degree angle because the pole is vertical. Vertical pole is mentioned. Right, so this is the vertical, this is 90 degree. So I've got this triangle ABC where angle B is 30 degree. So we have to find X. So what we can do, if you see, if B is the frame of reference, right, this is hypotenuse, this is perpendicular, and this is base. Correct? Because see, here B is the frame of reference. Now we have to find P, we know H. So we know this formula, Pandit Badri Prashad, Hare Hare Bol. So P and H are involved here, right? So this is the formula where P and H are involved and this is the formula for sin theta. So we can use this formula now, sin 30 degree is equal to P by H, correct? That is nothing but AC by AB here and that is nothing but x the distance we have to calculate the height of the tower by length of the rope that is 20 and sin 30 we know the value is 1 by 2 from table this is equal to x by 20 if we solve this you get x is nothing but 20 by 2 that is 10 centimeter or 10 meter actually because this is in meter so this will be 10 meter so the height of the pole is 10 meter and we have got the answer. Very simple what we have done. In the real life scenario, we have drawn the right triangle and then we saw that if we consider this as the base angle, the sides are P and H. Then we use for P and H, we know it is sin theta. So we use the formula sin theta is equal to P by H. Theta is equal to 30 degree. Sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. P is equal to X and H is equal to 20, the length of the rope. And we found the value of x to be 10 meter that is height of the pole is 10 meter height of pole is equal to 10 meter correct let's say the example says a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle of 30 degree with it the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where it touches the ground is 8 meter we have to find the height of the tree this is the tree, let's suppose. Storm breaks this tree in this way. Right, this is the tree. Storm breaks the tree. So the top part of the tree touches the ground. This is the top part of the tree. This is the top part of the tree. And this part touches the ground. This part is now touching the ground in this fashion. This is bent and broken in this fashion. This touches the ground. It makes 30 degree with the ground the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where it touches that is this point to this point is 8 meter we have to find the height of the tree so what we can do let's draw a triangle on this so we, if we draw this point and this point and this point you get this as a triangle correct and let the triangle be abc abc we are told that this angle is 30 degree correct because the tree makes 30 degree with the ground and the distance between the foot of the tree and this point is 8 cm. We have to find the height of the tree. So let this be x. Correct? Now if 30 is my, or angle C is my point of reference, this is h, this is p, and this guy is b. Correct? Because C is the point of reference, the longest side is height, because this is 90 degree here. Correct? And this is uh, perpendicular, the opposite side, and this is base, adjacent side. So here the sides involved are x, what are P and B. Sides involved are P and B. Correct? So let's uh, use the formula Pandit Badri Prashad. Hare Hare Bol. This is sin, cos, and this is tan. So we are looking for P and B. 
so this guy has both p and b so we can say here tan 30 degree is equal to ab by bc why because it is nothing but p by b and there is nothing but ab is x correct and uh, bc is 8 so we'll get tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3 is equal to x by 8 or we'll get x is equal to 8 root 3 sorry 8 by root 3 x equal to 8 by root 3 now if you see the height of the tree is not only x but x plus y why if you see this is the total height of the tree if, if it broke from here let's suppose this is x and this part is y the whole height of the tree is x plus y correct so we have to find y also here you see here properly this x plus this y that is the complete height of the tree and they are asking for the height of the tree so we have to find x plus y so we have found x now now if you see we have this y h and we know its base also b so we are dealing with h and b so that is we are dealing with cos theta right we are dealing with h and b we are dealing with cos theta so we can say cos 30 is equal to h by b that is y this is y or i can say let me be more clear ac by bc or we can say cos 30 is nothing but root 3 by 2 is equal to ac is y by bc is 8 or we get y is equal to 8 root 3 by sorry there is a mistake here it is not ac by bc cos theta is equal to b by h that is bc by ac so it is bc by ac correct cos theta is bc by ac so let me write this once again so cos theta is nothing but root 3 by 2 is equal to bc is i know 8 by y or y is equal to 8 into 216 by root 3 correct so the height of the tree is nothing but x plus y we can see this is x and this is y the height of the tree is x plus y there is nothing but 8 by root 3 plus 16 by root 3 that comes out to be 24 by root 3 if you want to rationalize we will divide multiply by root 3 root 3 so this becomes 24 root 3 by 3 3 and 24 cancel this becomes 8 8 root 3 so 8 root 3 meter is the height of the tree why a meter because this is meter here correct total height of the tree is 8 root 3 just need to draw the diagram you don't need to draw the triangle find the sides and then find what the question is asking for in this question the question is asking for the height of the tree and height of the tree is x plus y thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again